Hello everybody, this is John here, aka Press Bubbles, and once again, welcome to my laboratory. In today's edition, we're talking about Pokemon Unite's character, Slowpoke, slash, and go evolving into Slowbro. Um, Slowbro is one of the Delphi Pokemon, and his main focus, besides being a special attacker, he's a ranged defender. So, on my top right hand corner, you just see a chart evaluation. I took all the stats that the current Pokemon are listed as of today. And based off the greatest weakness uh, of each stat category, I labeled, uh, highlighted Slowbro's attributes. Because Slowpoke does evolve in Slowbro, which have better stats. Overall, Slowbro exceeds at two categories where he's either number two or he's tied for, number th uh, for third and fourth. Which is endurance because of his high defense capability and his support because of his, his huge range of support system that he uses for his allies. So what makes Slowbro amazing? Well, if you look down in the bottom of the hand corner, you'll see a level system. And I broke down the key moves that you need to focus on when you're playing Slowbro. So when you start the game, always grab Water Gun. You have Water Gun, and you have Slack Off. Slack Off is not doing damage, it's just healing. So obviously, get rid of that. You will learn it, but you don't need it. Water Gun's purpose is just to do more damage until you get to that level four. You will inherit uh, Slack Off later, once you're level 4, or actually before that. <coughs> Excuse me. But then you should focus on the next move, which is either Surf or Scald. Scald is a good tech move, but Surf, because the way we want to build a specific Pokemon, is the way we want to go, because he is a ranged defender. Surf has an area effect hit where anything is in front of it when he gets contacted, he does three consecutive hits with three waves which stuns your opponent from moving. Which is great, also stuns them from doing their attacks too. Well, what's so good about that? Well, if you're trying to go for Dreadnought, after, you know, actually so many minutes pop, it pop up, and all of a sudden Dreadnought pops up, your, you know, your allies are destroying it, and you see your opponent's Pokemon coming. Well, Slowbro can go out there, do Surf, and then hit them for three shots consecutively with that uh, Surf attack, and stall them. That little time being stalled, can make the biggest difference between you winning and you losing. And that brings up the next ability, which is Telekinesis. Now Telekinesis can be reached at level 6. You can learn that or you learn Amnesia. Now Amnesia is a decent <coughs> build based off um, a brawler style where you build up defense and attack and your attack goes up with Scald when you use it. In this case, we don't need it because we're building Slowbro as a tank and a stall tactic. So, what do we do? Telekinesis. What does Telekinesis do? If it locks onto your opponent's Pokemon, it levitates them up in the air for a few seconds and immobilizes them. Basically, they can't move, they can't eject button, they can't attack, they are just stuck to rotationary. While that's happening, your allies could attack it and do damage or knock it out. So, a lot of combos you're going to do in this game is surf first, we're going to stun them, and as it's being stunned, you get telekinesis ready, boom, grab telekinesis. So you got about four to five seconds between surf being used and telekinesis, where you have certain po uh, at least one Pokemon stunned. And that amount of time could be like, hey, my buddy's about to get knocked out, I'm just going to hold this guy up so he can go over ahead and get healed. Or hey, I see this one guy's about to uh, try to steal... Um, Rotom, about to steal Zapdos, about to steal um, Dread. I need to stop that. Or, hey, I'm trying to go for a goal. They're about to hit my opponent, my buddy, so I'm going to stall him. Or even vice versa, you're trying to store a goal on you. You grab him, interrupts their goal process. So, that's a good two hit combo right there. And last but not least is Slowbro's Ultimate Unite Move Slow Beam. Now, when he's at level 9 and he learns Slow Beam, it's basically telekinesis, but couple more steps up so when it locks onto that opponent not only that it brings him towards Slowbro but it's also draining his health making Slowbro's defense go up crazy high and his attack and I believe the uh, opponent's attack and everybody around him their attack drops so what can we do to boost Slowbro's stats with items well that comes in the factor of uh, three items. One is Buddy Barrier. So Buddy Barrier, I only have 600 HP to your Pokemon, a level 30. When I use my Unite move, 
my buddy who's next to me, I could grant him a 40% shield based off his total HP. And that shield could be make it and break it in a uh, team battle, team versus team battle situation. We also carry Shell Bell, which is almost level 30. So what Shell Bell does, every time I do a damage, when it uh, allows me to do another hit with Shell Bell, um, I could gain at least a minimum of 75 HP. So every time I do one of those surf attacks or trying to stun my opponent, I'm gaining just a little bit of health at a time. It may not be a lot, but it chips up over time. And then we use Assault Fest because we're already a tank as it is. We're at HP and Special Defense. So what it does is every time I take a special attack, it reduces by 15% of its max HP. Doesn't sound like a lot, but it does add up over time. It makes a difference between, you know, being KO'd and KOing your, Pokemon, your opponent's Pokemon. So outside of this scope, which lane should Slowpoke or Slowbro go? Well, I indicate on the bottom right hand corner, I have a red, a yellow, and blue lane. That makes it very easy. Uh, I suggest the bottom lane, which is blue, is the most providence of taking full advantage of Slowbro because of what's happening with Dreadnought. Dreadnought is a big attacker, and also he's a big towards your stat boost for all your allies when you get level, level up. Um, second best will be up, uh, which is red. Um, that one leads to Rotom and defending up there. I suggest never take Slowbro as a jungle player because he's not fast. He won't be able to do as much damage as the other Pokemon are be able to do. And so that's my least uh, favorite route. So overall, Slowbro, his main item that he would like to use is going to be Eject Button for today. Why? Because Eject Button has the ability, I think it's every 60 70 seconds for the cooldown time, it allows me to move him in a certain direction, like teleport him in a very short distance. So you can avoid an attack, run away, catch up to a Pokemon and, you know, grab a telekinesis. There's a lot of features to it. So what we're going to end up doing right now is we're going to have a quick practice match. <coughs> I'm choosing random players and hopefully we are able to get Slowbro. That's the goal. And I want to demonstrate what happens when you use Slowbro going to the bottom route. As you have a, little, I have a certain character I uh, set up for. And again, I'm going to my items. I have the eject button, uh, the buddy guard, the shell, and the assault vest. And we're going to set our path to so my partners now to the bottom path, which is the best path you can take. Now the game might suggest take the, the top half, but with new strategies as the game evolves over time, people are realizing that Slowbro has a better potential being on the bottom than the top. But again, it depends on how the team works. The team's gonna ask you to do certain things. Right now, I have no communication with my team whatsoever. So I need to indicate to them, hey, I'm going bottom. And I'm just gonna show each of the moves as we go. So you're gonna, I'll be giving a commentary as what we select as we evolve all the time. And here we go. So looks like we have a pretty good balanced team here. We've got two guard trap players. That's pretty much so got two fairy Pokemon. Yeah, we got a fairly balanced out team. They have a little more attackers than we do, but again, Slow Bro's purpose is to halt one of their attackers so my attacker can defeat their attacker. So we'll see what happens. And here we go. We chose Wargun. I used my eject button because I wanted to get him out right away. And notice how I was saying before that <coughs> the key is to do as much damage as you can as you go down to the bottom routes. And notice I did not pick up Slack off yet because it's just not a necessary move you need to learn. You pick it up, but it's just something you don't really need over time. Try to direct my buddy. Come on, get back. 
Somebody uses they get too aggressive. I know we're getting close to level four, but it should allow me to pick my moves soon. Once I evolve. And we're gonna go ahead and pick Surf. And just like I mentioned before, we're gonna go ahead and do the cooldown. Now I'm waiting for we can still use the basic attack. We're not on radius yet. But watch how I was gonna do so I do rest. I don't want to do rest, I wanna do surf. See? Surf hit my opponent and did a lot of damage. I'm gonna inject because he's trying to knock me out. I'm like, nope. I go ahead and rest a little bit there, get some health. Yeah, I should have done that. Oh. He is. Yeah, like I said, Slowbro is not the fastest Pokemon. But we are trying to gain as much power as we possibly can. Our score as well. Sweet. So we're almost level six. We can pick up our telekinesis hit as well. Come on, man! I was just trying to help you. Try to help my my buddy from passing out, being KO'd. Sometimes I just don't understand what you're doing yet. Now I noticed on the bottom of the map it has an indicator uh, countdown to 25 seconds now. Take the ultimate assist because I'm at level 6. And now I want to beam him. Oh. He did the eject buttons, so I couldn't grab him that time. I did pick one up, but I did pick up his clone. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Well, we have a player that does not want to play today. That's fine. We're just here to demonstrate what combos you can do with Slowbro. Yes, it would be nice if the Lone Night Tales would be playing right now, but we'll do what we can. Throwing a hit. Lock. And see how I was able to lock my opponent there? If my ally was available, which he is not playing at the moment, I would have been able to have him KO. And that's the whole reason why I believe that Slowbro is actually a powerhouse. A lot of people don't realize it. See, again, that's an example. I'm trying to pick him up. Yeah, fortunately, having that uh, nine tails not playing, it's just start hurting. So we're almost. Yep, I just grabbed my unite move. Nobody here. Yes. Good score, good combo. Ah, uh, too bad. You don't knock me out. Unfortunately, in this match, I'm not. I don't think we're gonna get the win because we have a player who's just not. Participating right away. Oh, could I use that jack button there soon? But you get the concept of what I'm trying to show right now. The whole purpose of this is to show you what route he can be best suitable and useful for. We can also aim for the attack power we want to go, so we can follow our opponent and just go, okay, what are you, going to, what are you guys going to do? So after we took control of this, we're actually waiting for the dread to happen. So, add that water hit, sir. Come on. Oh. You have a nine tails that just doesn't want to play. Oh, I'm just 
just waiting. Okay, we're going for it. And we're trying to suck the health away from that. Fortunately, because our allies are just not being equipped, we're getting KO'd because we're not everybody's moving at once. Got it. Yep. The, this is like pretty much an overpower matchup that's currently happening right now. But again, I'm trying to demonstrate what Servo his capabilities are in this matchup. But with all these attack powers just hitting us and we're not going all at once, it's making it very difficult for us to uh, get them at this point. I'm going to assist my buddy who's up here. So that's a little stall attack I was referring to. We will hit a lot of things at once with Surf. It doesn't do massive damage, but just enough to assist your, your opponent, your, your ally. Yep, I think I have a couple points there. Yep, we got him stalled, so you could be able to go for that hit that I talked about. And if you hit the down button when you're not moving, it helps you go back to the beginning. So you can go ahead and heal it faster. The rings further back to home base, the more damage you're going to deal. Unfortunately, right now, they're just hitting us a lot of damage. It's just, I don't think we have enough. To go off of. I'm just trying to stay away and try and do chip damage because I have a lot of range of most people. Oh, we're gonna try to lock him up. It's not doing much. <coughs> yeah, unfortunately, in this matchup, um, the opponent has got the win. Um, so, yeah, everybody wants to do the forfeit. But again, you know, some matches you can win, some matches you cannot win. But the goal about this is to demonstrate the capabilities of what he can and cannot do. And as you can see, I can switch also in between if I want to hold it and aim in place. So he has beneficial. I mean, he can never target to telekinesis uh, through a normal character. Just uh, the reader in that right now. You just cannot do that. So I'm going to go with this Sylveon and try to assist on getting a goal here. Go! <laughs> that are not realizing what they should be doing. Yeah. <coughs> See, that was one of the indications that yeah, we did lose, but this is just showing some advances that Silver can do if people were talking to each other. I'm not talking to another person. It's hard to communicate what was happening there. But if you were looking at the screen, you would have saw that I was trying to attempt to stall Blastoise and allow my opponent to get enough time to score, which could happen. But overall, I think we did pretty well for ourselves. Now, I, I do plea, hopefully this becomes good, valuable, um... For everybody to see what is going on and what is the good pros and cons towards Slowbro. I thank you for your time and have a wonderful day.